everyone, John Pru here. Would you be amazed if I told you that I was playing only five notes over all those chords? Pretty cool, right? It's a scale called the pentatonic scale, and I'm so excited to share with you today this five note scale and how you can use it over so many chord changes. It's a scale you probably already use a lot anyway, but I'm gonna show you how you can organize the notes in a way that's gonna make your playing sound hip and modern, and it's very soulful over this neo-soul progression. So let's get to it. We're gonna talk about the pentatonic scale, and the pentatonic scale, as I mentioned, is a five note scale. There's both a major pentatonic and a minor pentatonic, but they're the same five notes. It just depends on which note you start on. So the first one is called the A-flat major pentatonic scale. I chose the key of A-flat major or F minor because the fingering feels very natural. It'll make sense once we get into it. So for an A-flat chord, you have an A-flat six in your left hand, and your right hand, you're gonna play this five note scale, which if it were over a major chord would be root, two, three, five, six. Very easy, right? Just these five notes, one, two, three, five, six. So that's if it was a major chord, but over a minor chord, you go down to the relative minor, which in this case is an F minor chord, F minor seven. And if you play that same scale, but you started on F, now we have, root three four five seven five four three one and i'm just kind of going one two three four five for my fingering really easy scale to play isn't it and it's five notes but we're organizing them in groups of four because we're in four four time signature right now so we have a flat major again which is one two three five six and f minor pentatonic which is one, three, four, five, seven. Doesn't matter which note you start on, it's all the same five notes. So now I'm gonna show you how you can use this scale over this that chord progression I was playing on the intro, a really hip chord progression. We're calling it kind of neo-soul because it uses this, this chord progression that uh, feels very modern um, and R&B-like uh, in its nature. So we're starting off with these root position chords. So in your left hand, all I'd like you to do is play these chords. We have F minor seven. Then we have E flat minor seven. Then we have A flat seven. Then D flat major seven. Then C seven. Then the second half starts on F minor again, but now this time it goes to D seven, and then to D flat major seven, and then to G flat major seven. Isn't that cool? So the, so the bass mo movement goes like this. F, E flat, A flat, D flat, C, then F down to D, to D flat, to G flat. And the reason this is so cool is that your right hand is playing a pentatonic scale and it works over all of these chords. So uh, I just wrote the pentatonic scale out like this with the chords underneath and it goes like this. So we have. cool so all of those notes work over this whole chord progression and it's really really pretty cool um, but you wouldn't ordinarily play these all in root positions would you you'd probably go and play them in some kind of um, inversions and so we have in this next example rootless voicings in your right hand this is the way you would play if you were accompanying let's say yourself singing or somebody else playing or singing we're adding some notes now so instead of just the root position f minor chord we have an f minor nine so the right hand's playing the three five seven nine i'll play it through once and then we'll kind of break down what these chords are so we have f minor nine e flat a flat d flat major nine c7 flat major 9 and then G flat major 7 sharp 11 so some pretty cool um, chord extensions in there right so for the first one F minor 9 we have 3 5 7 9 and then we just parallel down to E flat minor 9 so 3 5 7 9 we go to A flat 13 then we go to D flat major 9 again 3 5 7 9 and then this is one of my favorite chords coming up it's a C7 with a sharp five and a sharp nine. We go back to our F minor nine again, three, five, seven, nine. And then this is a very hip substitution. Check this out. Ooh, I love that. 
three sharp five seven sharp nine so hip and then d flat major nine three five seven nine and then one of my favorite chords as well this last one which is g flat major seven with a sharp 11. so we have nine three sharp 11 and then we have the major seven really really pretty cool right so let's try this together um, with a track and see how that sounds here we go So cool. Besides playing these voicings in your just your right hand, you can also play them in your left hand because coming up we're going to actually improvise in our right hand while playing these voicings in our left hand. So go ahead and try to practice these same voicings that you just played in your right hand, but in your left hand. It would sound something like this. So we're going to come back to that later. So before we get into the neo soul progression and, and improvising over that, we're going to start with just two chords. And I love to do this over a pentatonic scale. We're just going to start with the one chord, and then we're going to go up a half step to the major seven. So we're going to go from F minor seven to G flat major seven using the pentatonic scale up above. So we have this. And then when you go up a half step, Notice how it's the same notes, but look at how the notes change in terms of what they're called. So when we're in F, that's the root three, four, five, seven, five, four, three, right? But once we go up a half step, now this note here, the F is the major seven. Nine, three, sharp 11, six, sharp 11, major three, nine. Isn't that cool? So the same notes, but you go up a half step with your left hand. So what we're gonna talk about next is three pentatonic patterns over these two chords. We're gonna start with uh, a pattern number one, which is a repeated partial scale approach. So we're going into, I know it looks complicated, there are a bunch of 16th notes, but that's only because the groove is a little bit slower. And the left hand, rather than playing the full chord, all you're doing in your left hand, you're going to play fifths in your left hand. And the reason that this sounds appropriate to the style is that um, if you listen to piano players like McCoy Tyner or Chick Corea, oftentimes what they're doing in their left hand is playing open fifths as you're playing pentatonic. Pretty cool, right? So it's, it kind of keeps it open a little bit when you just have the fifths in the left hand. And the right hand, is playing again just the pentatonic scale and this is a repeated pattern so i'll play this pattern for you so you can hear how it goes it goes like this three four one okay that's the pattern and then you just go up a half step and play the same pattern but notice how the left hand anticipates the beat by playing the last 16th so it's one two three four two, uh. so it's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two, three and a four E and a. So it just anticipates just a, a sixteenth note into the next measure. Another thing I wanted to mention is that these sixteenth notes are swung, not straight. So what does that mean exactly? Well, if I were to play straight sixteenths, I'd have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. But if I swing them, I'm thinking them almost more like swung eighth notes. You know, when we swing eighth notes, we think of like triplets. So I'm thinking more like one ba da ba ba da ba ba do da, one ba da ba ba do da do da, da 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 like that. So I'm thinking of these like sixteenth note triplets underneath all that. So it's a feel thing, but just notice when I'm playing it, I'm swinging these sixteenths. So it's like this: three, four, one.
So let's try it together. We're going to play this through two times and uh, with a track and playing the lick number one. Here we go. Two, three, four. Fun, huh? And again, the fingering is pretty easy. I'm just one, two, three, one, three, four, three, one, four, three, one, three. So you're just using three fingers there. So um, the next example is, I really like this one because you're, I'm rearranging the notes of the pentatonic scale by skips. So what we have is we're going up like this, but then we're skipping down here, skipping up, down, skipping down, up, down. So it, it creates this really interesting line. I'll play it for you. It goes like this. Isn't that cool? I wrote the fingering there just because there's a little bit of crossover. So we have one, three, five, four, one, two, five, three, one, two, five, three. And again, we're just going between the two chords. But look at the next example up above. Instead of repeating the same thing, we're just going up to C and doing the same thing, skipping up, skipping down, up, down. So the first example, then up on C. And when we put them together, it sounds like this, three, four. Pretty cool, right? So let's try this together with the track, two times. Two, three, four. Love that. So cool. And it sounds very modern, something that, you know, Chick Corea, McCoy Tyner might play. This next one I really love too, because it's very simple and it only uses three notes. It's, a, it's what's called chordal shapes because I'm using fourths. So I go fourth and then we have fourths here. But really it's just three notes, isn't it? Out of this pentatonic scale, I'm just using th these notes here. So I'm repeating, I go one and two and, and then I go under and play the same notes, back down, skip up, and then come back down like this. So I'm just using those three notes, but it sounds like this, three, four, one. And then I repeat it again. And it sounds like this, when I'm using my left hand, it sounds like this. Isn't that cool? Let's try it together. Two, three, four. Love it, so cool. So next up we're gonna do um, some trading, which I really love to do with students where I'm gonna play a lick and you, again, you can learn this lick but then you get to play the second half of it, just using the pentatonic scale. So any of these notes of the F minor pentatonic scale will work. In your left hand, if you're comfortable, you can play these rootless voicings that we practiced. Okay, so we're gonna do this two times through. I'll, I'll play this lick for you just so you can hear how it goes. The first one, and I, and I wrote eight VA up above, which means instead of playing it where it's written, you're gonna play it up an octave. So it would sound, this first one would sound like this. Okay, so we have one, a da, two, ba da, ba, one, ba da, ba, ba, ba da, ba da, ba, ba da. And then it's your turn to improvise on that. So um, we're gonna do this through two times because I think it's really fun to, to play in this chord progression. Again, this is the neo soul progression, graduating from the two chords to all these chords now using this pentatonic scale. Let's try it together. I'll play the first part, you have the second half, and then we'll repeat it. One, two, three. Four. Your turn. Again. Your turn. Cool. That 
was a lot of fun. I love that. So the next one we're going to do is, um, again, octave higher. And uh, um, it goes like this. One, two, da, 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 four, one. Ba, ba, do, da, ba, 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 do, da. Again, let's try it. Three, four, one. Ba, ba, do, da, da, four, one. Ba, ba, do, da, da, ba, ba, do, da. And then your turn to play for two bars. So let's try this together now. Two, three, four. Your turn. Again. Your turn. Love that. Very cool. Um, improv number three uses the skip approach that we did earlier. So we have one, two E and a three E and a four, one, two E and a three E and a four E and a one. But we're gonna do it an octave higher. So we're gonna be up here. So it's one. One. And then your turn. All right, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. turn. Very cool. And the last one is one of my favorites because we're using some triplets here and this is really a, a cool rhythm. We go like this. One. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. One. Ba -da 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 -da. So cool, right? Let's try it. So we have one. Ba -da 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 -da. And then we do the same rhythm but we go up to E flat. We go one. So again, it's kind of like a question answer kind of a thing. So again, it's one. And then repeats up a higher. Sorry, it goes one. Four, one. And then your turn to play the rest of it. All right, cool. Let's try it together. Two, three, four. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> Very cool. So you can play this game, record yourself playing, you can have a friend over and try going back and forth just using the pentatonic scale in this hip chord progression. Have a lot of fun. It's this very cool neo soul progression, or you can simply just do what we did before and take those two chords, F minor to G flat. Either way, these five notes work over all those chords, and it's a super fun scale, the pentatonic scale. So enjoy. Please keep me posted. Take care. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the lesson, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step by step lessons for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.